What if I told you that the difference between AI art that looks amateur and AI art that looks like you hired a professional designer comes down to just nine simple Canva tricks? I'm about to show you the exact techniques I use to transform basic AI generated images into designs that people actually want to buy. And the best part, you can learn all of these in the next few minutes. But here's the thing. Tip number five is going to completely change how you think about fixing those ruined AI images. So make sure you stick around for that one because it's a total game changer. Let's jump right in with the first hack that's gonna save you hours every single week. Keyboard shortcuts because who has time to click around? Let's talk about something that's gonna save you so much time. You know how you're always hunting around for shapes and text in Canva? Yeah, we're done with that. Here's the thing, press C for a circle, R for a rectangle, and T for text. Boom, done. But here's where it gets really good. Hit that slash key and watch the magic happen. It opens up this quick search that gives you access to literally everything. Graphics, photos, videos, the whole nine yards. Just type what you want, click it, and it's on your canvas. Oh. And when you're trying to see the tiny details, command shift plus to zoom in, command shift minus to zoom out. Trust me, once you start using these shortcuts, you'll wonder how you ever survive without them. I'll drop a link below with even more shortcuts if you're ready to become a Canva speed demon. Sizing like a pro. Stop eyeballing your dimensions. All right, let's talk about something that'll save your sanity, getting exact sizing in Canva instead of playing the guessing game. You know how you're always dragging corners around, trying to get that perfect size and it's never quite right? Yeah, we're done with that struggle. Click on your object, head to the position panel and look for that advanced section. This is where the pros hang out. Here's the game changer. You can manually punch in the exact width and height you need. Want to keep everything proportional? Hit that little lock icon first. Now when you change the width, Canva automatically adjusts the height so everything stays perfectly scaled. No more wonky, stretched out images. I get it, if you're used to just clicking and dragging corners, this might feel weird at first, but trust me, once you try it, you'll wonder why you were torturing yourself with the drag and guess method. It's way more accurate and honestly way less frustrating. But hey, if you still need to drag sometimes, no judgment. Sometimes the other option just doesn't work. Here's a pro trick, zoom in first. Seriously, zooming in gives you way more control and precision, makes it so much easier to grab that corner and nail the size without overshooting or doing that annoying micro adjustment dance. So now you've got options, exact input for precision work or zoomed in dragging when you need that hands-on control. Either way, you're sizing like you know what you're doing. Changing colors on graphics, the old way versus the new way. All right, real talk. Some of y'all watching this are brand new to Canva, so I'm going to cover this even though some of you veterans might already know it, but stick around because there's a plot twist coming. So the old school way was going into adjustments. Click your image, hit edit, then adjust. Scroll down to edit colors. You'd see all the colors in the object that Canva will let you change. There's sliders for sharpness clarity, and vignette also. But here's where it gets juicy. Now you can just click directly on the object. If that color can be changed, it'll pop right up in your toolbar. Click the color, change it to whatever you want. Easy peasy. Now, heads up, this feature is still a little moody sometimes. If you're trying to change one color, but it's mixed into other parts of the image, you might get some surprises. Like try changing Hello Kitty's red bow and suddenly her skin tone shifts because brown has red in it. Just something to keep in mind while you're playing around. Text styling tricks. Work smarter, not harder. Here's a move that's gonna blow your mind if you're still editing text boxes one by one like it's 2010. Click and drag to select all the text boxes you want to change. Then boom, hit up that toolbar and change font, color, size, everything at once. Your design stays consistent and you just saved yourself like 10 minutes, but wait, there's more. See an element with styling you love? Click it, then hit that copy style button. If you don't see it, click those three dots first. Now click whatever you want to update and bam, same formatting, instantly applied. Font, color, effects, 
the works. And when you're picking colors and fonts, don't sleep on the style section in that left panel. Click design, then styles, and Canva's got your back with color palettes and font combos that actually look good together. Hit apply to all pages if you want everything matching. Not feeling it? Hit shuffle and try different variations. Pro move, upload any image, right click it, and select apply colors to page. Canva pulls those colors and makes them your palette automatically. If you've got brand kit set up, your brand colors are right there waiting for you. Magic Expand and how to fix it when it goes rogue. You've probably used Magic Expand before, but let me tell you about the mistake I see everyone making. You know when you've got this perfect clip art you made, but the top of the hair got cut off? That's exactly when Magic Expand saves the day. Select your image, hit edit, Magic Studio, then Magic Expand, Drag the edge upward and let AI fill in that missing hair and background. But here's where people mess up. Sometimes Magic Expand gets creative and throws random people or objects in your background. You're looking at it like, this would be perfect if this random dude wasn't photobombing my design. Don't throw it away. Here's the fix. Edit photo, grab that Magic Eraser tool, and brush over whatever shouldn't be there. Canva cleans it up like it was never there. Or my favorite way, and the one I recommend, use the Magic Grab tool. This thing is seriously underrated. Just click on whatever unwanted object Magic Expand added, and Magic Grab will select it automatically. Then you can literally drag it right off your canvas or move it somewhere else entirely or just hit the trash can and remove it right away. It's like having superpowers. You can reposition that random person, duplicate elements you actually want, or just yeet unwanted stuff completely out of your design. Way more control than just erasing and honestly, way more fun to use. Simple fix that turns a ruined design into perfection. Mockups, making your stuff look professional AF. Listen, flat clip art for your cups and other merchandise are fine and all. But if you want to stand out, especially if you're trying to impress clients or blow up on social, mockups are your best friend. Head to the sidebar, and if you already have mockups, go to the app. If not, go to the apps and download. Once there, pick your product, bottle, laptop, whatever fits your vibe. Pick your clip art you have uploaded and drag it to the mockup. You can adjust the size, position it right, and suddenly your design looks like it belongs in a professional product catalog. Mockups show your work in the real world, and trust me, that context hits different. Want to get creative? Turn literally anything into a mockup. Take any product image, upload it, then place your design where it would naturally go. Resize, adjust the angle, and make it look natural. Perfect for creating custom mockups that match your exact vibe. Image blend for those smooth transitions. Search for Image Blender in the apps and install it. I use this mainly to fix those harsh lines at the bottom of pictures. You know, when you layer an image and that straight edge just screams, I cut and pasted this. Now, even though I use it mostly to soften the bottom of my AI images, you can also use it to blend two images together. Add two images, flip one horizontally if needed, position them how you want, open Image Blender, hit Blend, and drag those blend points around. Use that strength slider to fine tune until it looks seamless. Hit save and you're golden. There's also a radial blend option that creates this soft circular fade, perfect for those artistic vignette style effects that make your content look way more professional. Magnificent. Type warp. Get creative with your text for your AI images. This one's just fun. Wrap your text into creative shapes, like those wave text everyone wants to use but can't find any program that has it for free, especially my Cricut users out there. Type your text, pick your font and color, then scroll through the shape options. Each shape has its own customization tools. Best part, 
you can still edit the text after it's placed. Just click edit, make your changes, and update. No starting over. Font frame. Turn your text into art for your AI images. Okay, this one's going to blow your mind if you haven't discovered it yet. Font frame literally fills your text with images, like your words become windows showing whatever photo you want. It's wild. Here's how to make magic happen. Upload the image you want to use or grab one from Canva's library, then head down to apps and search for font frame. Type in your text. Let's say you want one of my favorites to use in this app, pink leopard print, or whatever fits your vibe. Want to switch up the image? Hit choose file or use selected image. And boom, your text gets filled with that new image automatically. Now here's where you dial in the perfect look. Use that image scale slider to zoom in or out on your image. The image might not move around how you expect, but don't worry, the settings tab is where the real customization happens. Change your font, mess with the alignment, adjust that outline thickness, play with letter spacing and line spacing until it's exactly what you're going for. Hit save when you're happy with it, and your font frame drops right onto your canvas. Delete that placeholder version and you're ready to rock with this custom text art. This tool is seriously underrated for adding that visual punch to your designs. Your text literally becomes part of the artwork instead of just sitting on top of it. Oh, and by the way, isn't she cute? I'll have a video coming soon on making clip art or images in ChatGPT, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. And there you have it, nine Canva hacks that'll take your AI art from amateur to professional. Now, just so you know, some of these features are already built into Canva, but others you'll need to grab from the App Store. I'll have a complete list of all the apps in the description so you don't have to go hunting for them. Which tip are you trying first? Drop a comment and let me know. And if you want more deep dives on specific apps like that reflection tool, or maybe the Canva color wheel tool to help make those colors pop, just say the word and I'll make it happen. If this video helped level up your design game, smash that like button and hit subscribe because we're just getting started. Until next time, keep learning, keep creating, and reign the AI royal way.